you're bouncing around in the back of the truck and seeing the poorest neighborhood in our hemisphere and it's elbow to elbow poverty. It changes you. And Haiti, the director at the time, said to us, what are you guys gonna do about it? And that kind of took our breaths away. Like, I didn't know that I was supposed to do anything about it. What was it that the gene pool favored me to be born in the United States versus there? We saw kids that were so sick, too sick to even go to school, seeing that water was the base of a lot of this. We got back, we said how many families were in the villages that we saw. Can we help all of them? To know that I'm involved in something that's breaking that cycle and allowing a child to go to school is, is why I do it. When mothers don't have to stay home with sick children, they can join the economic effort of the family. I'm going to be doing this all my life. I mean, I will continue to give, 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 because it's so enriching in my life. We felt God calling us to go and help those less fortunate, and we put in the building blocks of seeing true change. Now we can come back and look at things in, with a different light. To me, the biggest thing is the long-term partnership. It's not a one-off project. It's a real commitment in a region that really needs it. I think what makes us stand out is we're a boots-on-the-ground organization where it's the staff in these countries that does the work. There's follow-up, pure water for the world trains, people in the communities to go back and make sure that the filters are still being used correctly. They get buy-in from the community that they're serving by having um, people pay some small portion of the filter costs. They love what they do because they're part of that community. They're local, I'm local, and we want to help our country to develop. We don't want to be called a third country anymore. We want to go out. It's not only about the filter and the service that we provide them, but it's also a lot about the training and education. We've gone from installing filters to designing and building latrines and teaching communities how to build latrines, rainwater harvesting systems. We're educating water boards on how to sustain the implementation of the program, training teachers how to incorporate health and hygiene education into their regular curriculum. What impacts me the most is to see the effectiveness of the community members once they're given the tools to implement programs that they know are going to save lives in their communities. It's less just people writing checks and delivering it and saying, okay, I feel good. This isn't a gift, this is an investment. All I have to do is think about my last trip and I get recharged. Yeah. There's a greater purpose in life and they found one here. And I tell them their work begins when they get home. And that's carrying the story beyond here to get more people involved. What drives me are the good stories. They're helping us, pushing cars in the mud, hiking miles and miles to make our projects successful. Volunteering with us makes you understand how important water is to them and how important is your work. And those are the stories I want to tell. <laughs>